everyone. So I'm going to be showing you guys my March favorites today. And I've got a lot of good things. So yeah, I guess I'll just hop right in and show you guys. Alright, so I guess we'll start off with the makeup products because that is the majority of them. And let's be honest, it's the most fun. So the first one is a foundation. And this is the CoverGirl Nature Lux Foundation. I'm sure you guys have all seen this. This came out a while ago. And I bought it. It has been a really long time, actually, since I bought it. Um, I had heard Bethany, or Mac Barbie 07, rave about it. This was her favorite foundation for the longest time. And I never used it because I was so afraid to actually try drugstore foundations because I had had such a bad experience with one. Um, but, yeah, I won't get into that right now. But I ended up trying it after trying a couple other uh, drugstore foundations and I was like, well, I have this, I didn't like the others, I will try this, and I ended up loving it. I love the coverage it gives. It's not like a full coverage foundation or anything, but I don't usually need a full coverage foundation, so that works well for me. And it does have SPF 10, so it'll be good uh, in the spring and summer when I'm going to be outside more. I really do love this. It doesn't look cakey on my dry skin. The next product, I guess we'll stick with face. And this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. And I never really used one. I used this once. My sister had a small like, sample size of it. And I used it when I had to drive back to go to work for Black Friday because obviously I was going to be up for a while. And I ended up buying this before my formal because I knew that my makeup would need to last all night. And it worked really, really well. Also, I don't know if they... There was like a cooling one. Um, and then like the D-Slick and then this one when I was at Ulta. So I don't know if they don't have the one for dry skin, the Do Me or whatever. But if you know if they do still have that and you can get it somewhere else, just not at Sephora anymore, let me know because I have ultra dry skin and that would be perfect for when this does run out. Moving on, so I have a mascara here. And this is one that a lot of people have raved about on YouTube. It's the CoverGirl Clump Crusher by Lash Blast, and it's the one in the green tube. I've been using this actually for a couple months, but I wasn't sure if it was necessarily going to be a favorite of mine. I knew I liked it. It wasn't a bad product or anything, but there was just others, and I had to cave this month. I've really, really been liking how it um, makes my lashes look. I don't need to layer it with others for it to look good, because I'm not somebody who would you know, prefer to be layering stuff. I'd like to have one product that just works well for me. And this one does. So for those of you who have not seen it, I'm not sure if there's any of you out there, but this is what the wand looks like. It's just the plastic bristly ones, but it's a little bit curved. And yeah, I, I just, I really like this mascara. Um, I love the CoverGirl Lash Blast, like mascaras in general. The orange one I still think would probably be my favorite out of all of them, but this is a really, really good. I've got some eyeshadows to show you. And the first one is a palette, and it's from Coastal Scents. It's the 88 Warm Palette. And I have had this for a very, very long time, actually. But I just recently pulled it out and started, like, really using it. This is what I use uh, a lot of these to do my makeup for formal, which I do have a tutorial on the makeup I wore, if you want to check it out, I'll have it linked down below. It's called Midnight Moon, I think is what I named it. It's a like navy and silver smoky eye. But for those of you who don't know, um, this is what the warm palette looks like. I do have three others from Coastal Scents. The eyeshadows are great, great pigmentation, um, very affordable. And if you are starting out in makeup or trying to build your collection with newer colors, but don't want to spend a crap ton of money, then these are really, really good, and I really, really like this one. And the other two eyeshadows that I have to show you are from L'Oreal, and it's part of the Infallible line. And I am the last one, probably, to jump on this bandwagon. But I did pick up some, if you saw one of my recent hauls. And I've just, these two I have been loving so, so much, and ah, oh, so amazing. So this first one is an Ice Latte. And this was one, as I said in the haul, I was debating to whether I wanted to get it or not, just because it's a color that I do have a lot of other ones like it. But I am so glad I got this, because the formula of these eyeshadows are just amazing. So, yeah. This is the color of Iced Latte, and I will do a swatch for you. That is what it looks like on my finger. And then, 
Here is a swatch on my hand. Um, it's not like a standout color type thing, but just kind of the reflex of it is so pretty for just an everyday kind of natural neutral look. And I, as I said, I love this. It's really easy to just apply with your fingers so you don't have to dirty up a million brushes. So that's another thing I really like. And then the second one that I had here is in the color Amber Rush. And this is another neutral color, and um, but it's a little bit darker. And I just, this one I also, I'll, I like this a lot for either the crease or even just all over the lid. So that's what that looks like on my finger. If I can do this correctly for you guys. Um, and then right here is what it looks like on my hand. And again, that one is an amber rush. So, uh, as I said, I just I love the formula of these eyeshadows, and these colors are just amazing. So, really, really pretty. And I may have to go pick up more of these in at least the neutral tones because I've got a couple lip products here. And the first one is an EOS lip balm. I've had these for years now, but this one is in. I think it's called the Raspberry Pomegranate. I think that's the scent of it but I don't know because they don't put it on the packaging, which is super annoying, so you take the plastic off and it's gone. But uh, this is what it looks like, obviously, if you haven't seen it. You know, it's just the egg ones. And again, this is the, I think, raspberry pomegranate. I believe this flavor scent, whatever, is limited edition, so if you do like it and you see it, go ahead and pick it up as soon as you can. And yeah, smells really nice. Great lip balm in general. I love these EOS lip balms. And then the next one, I don't know if I showed this in my last month's favorite, but it is a Revlon Super Illustrious Lip Gloss, and this is in the color Pink Pop, which um, kind of went through a really, really popular phase on YouTube. But I did get it, and I think I showed it in a haul. That might have been the video that I showed it in, but if I did show it in my last month's favorite, sorry, I just really, really like this color. So this is what Pink Pop looks like. Super pretty. It is pigmented on the lips, so it doesn't come out as just a clear gloss, which I really, really like, and that will look so pretty in the springtime. So I've only got one more makeup product to show you, and it's an eyebrow pencil, and this looks kind of disgusting right now. I've had it so long. I stopped using it for a long time, and I was just, I wasn't filling in my brows, and then when I did start, I was just mixing Naked and Buck from my Naked palette, which I still do from time to time um, when I want a little bit more of a bold brow. But uh, when I want more of a kind of subtle or just natural look, um, if I'm not wearing too heavy of eye makeup, I use my Revlon Brow Fantasy. And I'm not sure... Okay, this is in the color Brunette. That's what I was looking for. So as you can see, it's a little bit of a nubbin right here. Um, I don't know how much I really like the gel. I haven't really been using it. I just stick with my Maybelline Clear one. But um, as I said, when I want to just do a really natural um, fill in of my brow, then I will reach for this, and I just have been really, really loving this. It's also quicker than using, um, my Urban Decay eyeshadows to do it, just because I don't have to sit there and mix the products and make sure they're even. I just kind of swipe this through it, and it's really awesome. Nail polish. I was wearing this the first, like, two weeks of the month, and this is Essie's Mint Candy Apple. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen this also a lot on YouTube, but I just, I really, 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 really love this color. I think it'll be great for spring. It'll be, you know, well in the summer as well. So, great color. And then as a base, and I've been using this also as my top coat again, it's from Orly. It's the Nail Defense. Um, I've really always used this kind of as a base, but my Sesh V was kind of getting, like, gloppy and stuff, and it wasn't making my nail polish look good anymore because, I guess, it's just it's too thick. So... Um, I started using this again, and my nail polish has been lasting a really, really long time. When I had this on my nails, it was on my nails for probably a good week and a half before it started chipping really badly. So, I don't know if it was this, I don't know if it was, you know, the process of what I did, because I did it a little bit different than normal, but um, I really, really like this, and it is orally, so it's drugstore, and it is affordable. And then lastly, I've got a dry shampoo here to show you guys. And this is from Batiste, and it's the one that's a hint of color for dark and deep brown hair. And um, if you're not careful, it still can leave a little bit of a whitish gray overcast to your hair. Um, but, I don't know, as long as you like brush it through and you don't spray it like super close to your head. Um, I just have really dark hair, so 
that's the only thing um, that's annoying. But it smells good, and I've heard a lot of good things about the other ones. It's not necessarily the colored ones, but just the other one. I know somebody just did a haul or something with the cherry scented one and said it smelled really good. So I may have to try that one next. But in general, I really, really like these dry shampoos. It does a great job at soaking up any oil in your hair um, better than a lot of other drugstore ones I've tried. So you can get this. I've heard at Urban Outfitters. I know you can also get it at Ulta. This is where I got this one. So really, really like this. And um, yeah, those are all of the beauty products that I have been loving throughout the month of March. If you guys want to see the products that I've been loving that are not beauty products, food, music, things like that, then you can head over to my vlog channel, which is Shavian, but I'll have that linked down below, just like all my other links. And I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see y'all later. Bye!